Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here. Episode number 10 of our Strategic Command Entente campaign. Uh, we are making decent progress. Uh, last turn, I'm pretty satisfied with. Uh, we're moving in... Um, I was looking at this. Now, I know mountains, they have a movement cost. So, passing through the mountains has a movement cost of plus two. Um, these plains, these open plains right here, don't. So if we can do something about this force that's down here, we've got a wide open shot to Budapest and uh, the Austria-Hungarian Austria forces uh, messing with Serbia down here. But we have to do something about this. Um, they are pretty strong, they're dug in, so uh, we may have some issues. Um, if we get more Russian troops soon, which I think we might, I'm going to want to move these guys down towards the center to kind of, because we got a gap in our line that I'm not really too happy about. Uh, we did manage to take uh, the city up here, which is a port, so um, I may start shifting some of these troops a little further south uh, down here. Um, still working on Danzig. Uh, Konigsberg is um, really fortified, so that's going to be a hard nut to crack. Uh, and we got a bunch of weaker units that are out in the front. Uh, some that we haven't dug in yet that guy but these guys should be able to hold uh, we are going to have artillery very soon which is great uh, the French got artillery too um, made a little bit of progress here on the uh, Western Front just a little but still um, they've got a weaker spot in their line right here if we can get through here uh, we could possibly come around them and link up with the uh, forces fighting in Belgium. So, there's that. So, Southern Front is still pretty static. Uh, Diplomacy-wise, um, right now, our Italian friends are sitting idle, doing nothing. Uh, I kind of want to get them into the fight, so I may uh, do a round of diplomacy. Bulgaria would also be very helpful. Uh, Bulgaria down here. So, Diplomacy may be the uh, way we go. Uh, Navy-wise, we're getting our asses kicked. Kind of have been the whole game. Um, so, hopefully that can change. I'm pretty sure I'm doing something wrong, Navy-wise. So. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get this started and see what Episode 10 brings us. Romania views Entente success against Austria-Hungary favorably. Romania. HMS Invincible returns to the UK lightly damaged. Armenian uprising in van. Russia blockade shipping out of Zongulbak. Giant locust swarm wreaks havoc in and around Jerusalem. <laughs> Deserters from the Ottoman army attack Ottoman outposts in Mesopotamia. Blockade. Prime Minister Karl von Storch unveils the warrior in iron in Vienna. Scientists report progress in trench warfare, 3961. Tank development, 56 to 74. Ooh. Oh, that's the U.S. All right. 184 MPPs for the British, 321 for the French, 46 for uh, Serbia, 258 for the Russians. What they do. 
hoping for a decent turn here. Something that does nothing for them. And gives us the upper hand in terms of uh, what we can do. They're even screwing up my subs. There's another ship we're about to lose. Bye bye. All they got behind me, I don't know. But they're gonna kill that ship too. I really don't think very much of naval combat in this game. To be honest with you. beefing up where I really don't want them to beef up. Does look like they're getting spread kind of thin, though. actually did something that turn that attack <laughs> and he ran away and he hits mines he bombed us with a blimp That's not good. Hopefully he can hold out for one. Oh my lord. He did six damage. Now we're losing all the gains that we uh, achieved. Russian Marines are about to get slaughtered. Wow. Defensive artillery. Gonna use all my de artillery ammo. And still do four damage. Might lose Nancy again. So far, Nancy's been the most fought after uh, piece of real estate on the Western Front. I guess it's a good sign that they're actually starting to move detachments forward to uh, fight us. It's a tactic I've been using the whole time, but to each his own.
getting headquarters units everywhere in sight. I can't give up Belgrade, that's my capital. <laughs> I will not give up Belgrade, that's my capital. And fourth corps suffers attrition losses. Russia blockade shipping out of Zongdulag. It's March twenty seventh. See if we get more uh, of this. Not good. To enable us to protect Egypt and to carry out offensive operations in the Middle East, it is recommended that we call on the Indian Army to provide us with some artillery. I'm not spending money on artillery. We have sufficient artillery pieces and crew in our rear areas to equip our Caucasian front with a weak heavy artillery unit. Uh, five heavy artillery unit, strength five heavy artillery unit will deploy to Alexandropol in the Caucasus. 150 MPP. Yes, I'll take that. Okay. Got a blimp now. That's cool. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, you. Trying not to get sunk. Five to six. Wow. Can we soften them up a little bit? Five to one. Who is this, anyway? Oneg Dreadnought. There we go. Four to one. Four to one. See if we can do this without... Out our battleship for our dreadnought. Two to one. We already attacked with him. Or what we can do with this guy. Uh, set mode, recon and bomb. Who can we bomb? Can we bomb anybody? It had something on there. Under nothing. Yay! Naval success. Yay! Okay, recon and bomb. Guess I can't bomb him. Uh. Move you out of the way for now. Four to one. Well, what we could do with it? No, nothing now. Uh, 
Oh, there's another one. It sucks. Alright. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Three to two. Three to two. that did anything. He did take out his entrenchments. Shift you out. Two to two. Three to one. Left him significantly weaker. Move you down here and move you up. Uh, let's get you into the rear, get you up here. Two to one on him, two to one on him, here. Did nothing. Two to two. Three to one, two to three. Right, there's that. I haven't attacked him yet. He's got three entrenchment. What does he have for morale? I mean, uh, he has zero of seven shells, so we just used up everything. Uh, can't pull out of Verdun. But we can move in here. Into the Ardennes, or... What's this? Let's move up. Got a three to one on him, three to nothing on him, but we can dig him in. Like this. Or if I can move him up. Two to two. That's not too bad. Let's move you up over here. We can't swap them out now. That sucks. We can swap you out. Now you can't do anything. Okay. Oh, this guy's got to... Got to do some reinforcing here. I don't really want to spend the points on this, but... Can't have this level one up in here.
Okay, so we got a weak spot right here. I was thinking about moving up into Verdun, or into the Ardennes, but... I don't want to pull anyone out of Verdun, or... Do about this guy, 3-1. to one. It was a two to one, so that wasn't too bad. Yeah, they got a line behind them. Or if I could, I don't want to cost. I don't want. I don't want to pay the cost. The butcher's bill. I don't want to pay it. Let's reinforce this guy and then we'll move him out on the next turn. As well as our artillery. Uh, what do we have left? 135. <sighs> 50 MPPs. Yes. Yes. Then France, what do we have left? Uh, 175. I feel like I shouldn't have to try and bribe Italy. But hey, they did have to bribe Italy, so. Alright. So that was the Western Front. This guy's going back to repair. Gotta go to France. We'll go send you to Marseille. And this, we're here. Or if I could do something about him. Oops. O to one. Two possible. Let's see if anything actually happens. Didn't look like it. Didn't look like it. We're just doing nothing. All right, let's go see what we can do about this guy up here. Or not. All right. Let me move our subs in and see what we can do. Nothing. Lord, where did they get such a big fleet from? No, Austria had a fleet like that. Well, we're gonna leave. Who are you? Okay, let's see what we can do here. O to three. Nice. Uh. One to one, one to one, two to one, one, oh to two. Can we come around him? I can't really do that though. Two to one, one to one, one to one. I'm gonna. I'm going to force march you up here. Now we're going to move in. We're here. Nothing. Let's focus on what we can accomplish here. Just trying to get his entrenchment down a little bit.
Alright, now he's a one to one. Oh to two there. That's a nice one. I'll take that. Two to one. One to one. One to one. We'd be better off attacking here because then we can make multiple strikes on him. Unfortunately, he didn't do anything, so. And either of those strikes. Did it at least take his entrenchment away? It did. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Kind of curious about this guy down here. O to three. O to one. O to two. There we go. Alright, he did fall back, but that's no big deal. Hit him here. And we can advance our line a little bit. Uh, this guy I'm going to spend some to reinforce. Not much. You go to two. Alright, that was not good. O to O. Eh. Some reinforcing. I always start in the south for some reason. Uh, one to one here. O to two. He's got four entrenchment. We're never going to get him. Two to one there, two to one, one to one. Uh, let's... let's... Hit him. I don't like that two to one. He's weak, but we can reinforce, so. Alright. Two to two? Two to four? Well, he is a detachment. Two to three. Swap out these guys. Uh, swap. Finish them off. Can you really do anything here? Let's see. Three to two. Two to 
two. Two to two here. Now it's a two to two. That was only one. Got cheated. Two to nothing. Two to nothing. Damn. Two to nothing. Two to two. All my good odds down here. You up. Shifting guys around here. Swapping them out really well. We could three to one, three to two, or two to two. Ah. All right, he did pull back. Can't reinforce and I'm gonna leave him here and bring him down a little bit. Now they can't go through here. We can move in on Tarnow. That would be good. All right, so now they got the zone of control they can't go through. This is going to be a tough nut to crack right there. Maybe I should move my artillery down here. It's actually in... Strengthen them a little bit. Make them a level 10. Why not? Does that give Russia? 38. Serbia. I don't think there's much we can do down here in Serbia. There's Sarajevo. We could possibly strike at Sarajevo. Hmm. Uh, let's take a look here. Serbia. Spend some on the... Uh, oh, we can't. I guess we're broke. They got 38, so they can't spend anything at all. All right, I think I got one more area of naval combat I have to take care of here. Oh yeah, they, they whooped us pretty good. Through the Baltic, through the Baltic. Oh, not what I wanted to do, go back. Oh. 
All right, let's get these guys into the Baltic area. Two to four. He just took away our ability to attack. That was not nice. All right. So these guys are going to come probably next turn. I don't know if there's anything up here I can actually do. Yeah. All right. Wait, can't forget about the Ottomans. I'm going to beef you up. One to one. Maybe I should have bombed them first. Doesn't do anything. Alright, well they're not going anywhere. Uh, you can move. Uh-oh. We ran into some bad guys. They got entrenchment too. I'll oh, dig in. Bad guys on the way to Baghdad. Alright. Up here we've been doing fairly well. One to two here, one to four, one to three. Uh, let's move you in. And then entrench over here. One to four. Him out. And we'll move down one. All right, that that was good for this turn for the <coughs> the Ottoman front. I don't think there's anything else either. Um, I guess I could bring this guy down. Operate. Hey, why not? Let's bring him down. Room in cars. Actually, get him close to the front. Mount Ararat. Go visit the Ark. Whoops. Hey, what's this way up here? Uh... Russian Dreadnought, huh? You're going to run into a lot of problems here. I think this is the convoy route. Sweden to Germany. Yep, let's blockade that with him. I'll move you over here. I can space my forces out a little bit. We gotta. All right. Two to one. I don't want to cost him two to one because then I'll get hit on the next turn. That's a two to two. Five. I don't want to leave a five up there. All right. Well, let's dig in with him. that and that'll be it for this turn all right progress is made slow but sure but it is being made so anyway if you like the episode hit the like button if you have any tips or advice leave those in the comment section below if you want to follow along through the entente campaign on strategic command world war one hit the subscribe and you can come along with us and we'll see you for the next episode hey 76 ny saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day